So doing division on the Sorbonne is very similar to doing division, um, as you may have learned in school. Uh, like uh, It's just like long division. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to enter in our dividend, the number we're ultimately dividing up. So here we're going to be dividing 516. So pick a spot to place your dividend. I'm going to call this the ones column for my dividend, and I got to enter in 516. So uh, 500 and 16, 516. And then the one real key to Sorbonne division is trying to figure out how many places your answer is going to return. One place, two place, three places. So 12 divided by 500, or 516 divided by 12. Is that going to give me a one digit answer? Well, division is the opposite of multiplication. So what you can really ask yourself is the largest one digit number is nine. Nine times 12, is that going to be equal to 516 or larger than 516? No. So we know we're not going to get a one digit answer. Um, a three digit answer, the smallest three digit number we have is 100. So 12 times 100, that's 1200. That's far larger than 516. So I know I'm going to get back a two digit answer. So what that means is that as we're doing our calculation, I know where I can enter my answer in. I'm going to enter my answer in over here. This is going to be my ones column. This will be my tens column. So now how many times does 12 go into five? It doesn't go in any times. So just like long division, I'm going to go over to the next number. All right. How many times does 12 go into 51? Well, it goes in four times. 12 times four is 48. So what I'm going to do is I say to myself, okay, 12 times what is going to get me closest to 51? 12 times four. So I go here where I'm putting in my answer. I know I'm going to have a two digit answer. So I start over here in the tens column and I need to multiply 12 by four. So I enter four here where I'm entering my answer. 12 times four is 48. So now I need to subtract 48 from this 51, just like we would in long division. So to subtract four from 51, to, to, to subtract four from this five, I need to subtract the five, add one. All right, and then I need to subtract eight. I can't subtract eight, so I'm gonna have to subtract this here in the tens column, and I'm gonna have to add two. And I'm left with 36. So 12 times what gets me closest to 36? Well, 12 times three. 12 times three, so I enter three here in my answer column. 12 times three is 36. So now I subtract 36 from my dividend. So I subtract three here, and I subtract six here, and I have my answer, 43, and I don't have a remainder.